and it's Earth Sciences, Living Systems, Human Enterprise, and Innovation and Technology. The Antarctic legacy falls under human enterprise, but started playing a totally new role from about 2015, 2016, in becoming more involved and in the society and as well as in the community as such. But the Antarctic legacy is a knowledge development project project that focuses on preserving material from Sinai, from Marion Island, from Gough Island, from the, our vessels, and as well as all the research in the Southern Ocean. So if I look, just quickly want to show you the two aims of the Antarctic legacy. It's important to know why did we get involved in the SANAP website? Why did we get involved in the social media that you currently are seeing happening? So the first one is preserving. So it all started out with pres preserving all the information that we can could get hold of, either digital, and we're now currently also working on physical collections to a certain extent. Now the digital collections is with the repertory. So that's the main thing where Antarctic legacy is based on. It will, if possible, cover the internet footprint that we're creating. It's got also a bibliography started in 2009 by Stephen Chan and Heidi Prusewski and that we are now carrying on with. It's also the 360 footage that um, a lot of you will know if you followed us or watch us on Facebook that Ansha Lowe took of Sanai and we're currently helping getting the golf 360 footage. It's also physical collections and that's specific to publications uh, like the books that it, uh, those of you that are lucky that will see receive some books. It's publications that's been made possible by the Antarctic Legacy. They are now publishers. So if ever you want to have a book published and it's concerning the Antarctic Legacy or the Legacy of South Africa in the Antarctic region, do contact us and we can help you in that regard. We also got very much involved in museums. And my background, you will see, is the map that is currently on in Ezekiel Museums, part of the Sentinels exhibition. And so we are also supplying material for that. And we made it possible for the first Sanai leader to give his collection to, for the Sentinels exhibition, Hannes Le Grancy. And currently we are in the library of the Stellenbosch University, make it possible to host books of Antarctica. There's no one place in South Africa that's got a specific collection towards Antarctic books and we started this also in about 2014-13 and it's growing. So if you got Antarctic books or you know about somebody that's got Antarctic books that they don't know what to do, please contact us and we can even preserve that. So then we got on to promoting. It's great, we have a digital repository, we're doing these exhibitions, but do we tell people about it? If we don't tell people about it, how are they going to know about it? So the first one is the society platforms. I will go on and go through each one of these. It's the Alpha website, the SANAP website, and social media. And physical, it's the exhibitions and the publications that we are part of. It's like exhibitions during the Agalas Open Day or in the Antarctic Open Season. Um, it was at schools as well. And then we are giving presentations like this one, obviously, but presentations on an international platform. We're part of the science uh, the Standing Committee on Human and Social Sciences of SCAR. So we do give presentations there as well, but we also give presentations in South Africa on different arenas. And one of them is like the team training of the overwintering team. So this first day, I'll be giving a presentation to the golf team that will be going to Gough Island for overwintering. We also do schools and try and, if, if we ask, we try and be able to do that. And um, what's important here is that um, if you're giving school talk, let us know if we can provide you with material or even just to um, put it out on the society platforms that you can tell people about it. And then we are also involved in students and specifically the BSc first year students at the University of Stellenbosch, giving them lectures and they're doing projects on Antarctica. So if I go further, and here's the Antarctic Legacy website page. So this is going to change hopefully next year. Because when the page started, the SANAP website was, didn't carry that much information or up-to-date information. So when we started this website way back in 2015, I've realized that there must be some one-stop place that people can look for the expeditions, the news, the science, the treaty, um, the science programs that they are. And so the website start from there. But the most important thing probably in the website is the archive that you will see there right at the top and that we will go there. But we do also cover like news articles like the one you can see here, the Island Hoppers. A lot of you probably know Chris and Michelle Jones. 
So they're giving their material to us, so it come, becomes part of the repository, and in the end, it becomes an article to tell you, and go look at their pictures or their contribution towards the archive. So if I look at the archive, so there's many things that you can look at. So mainly it consists of a photo gallery, multimedia, that includes a lot of things, and documents. And you've listened to Tracy Clarenby earlier today, and under official documents, you will find the Senate framework for this current proposal that is currently under review. So this is a place where you can go and look for stuff and see what is going on. If you want photos, if you want to see um, many other things as well, even the newsletters of the Team City, the 360 footage will be, um, I should just finish that metadata for us, so that will be going onto the system as well. But now what can you get out of it? The official documents will tell you where's the MARS strategy, the marine and Antarctic research strategy that um, Tracy talked about. You will get the Antarctic research Southern Ocean plan. You will see the white paper regarding specifically Antarctic that was um, initiated by Professor Isabel Ansolder. It's also on the archive. So go and have a look. And if you don't find it, contact us and we can probably help you. And if it's not there, then we realize there's a gap and it can go back to that. But now also very important, are you part of the legacy of South Africa? Um, have you given me your photos? Have you contributed towards the ar ar archive of the legacy? Um, your presentations, are they on here? The presentations that you give at different conferences. So the presentations normally go on research. I'm currently working on that and giving it a new label. So like the presentations of Anne Treasure, hopefully everybody that's giving presentations today will become part of the Legacy Archive. So that you can even go, just go back there, download it or just look at it. So is it part of it? Now I've chosen, everybody knows this guy, Lucas Stenman. He's also part of the Apex Committee. So just yesterday, he sent me his presentation that he gave at the Sansa, uh, at the SANAP um, symposium at Sansa in Hermanus. And we did a midnight series about him. So I've got now his pictures. So he's now part of the legacy. So right there on the left hand corner, you will see this. And like, it look, looks like a little person. A person is made up of a lot of things it's slides, it's documents, it's photos, it's videos, it's, it can be letters that you've written. It can just be a talk that you've given, an uh, image just of you giving the talk. So what's important here? is that science cannot exist, can't exist without a person. And we are currently talking about you, the researchers, the scientists, the up and coming scientists that will take over SANAP from the previous generation to take it forward. But if you don't preserve your legacy, it won't be part of this whole archive. So that's very important. So this is the um, Facebook page that you know about. Um, you will see there right at the top it has been also the website's the name and here's this. So we try to cover a lot of things on this website, uh, on the Facebook page. Previously it was just for um, trying to get some things out there of Elsa, but since 2018 we've asked by DSI and by um, Dev to run the SANAP website. So and that includes the Facebook page and the other social media that we will get to. So just this past few weeks, months, you can see there at the left hand top, we carried that on Facebook. It was an interview by Liesl Rudolph that everybody's heard now of. Um, there's an article below that's been posted on Facebook. So I try and keep track of all scientific articles. It's not always possible. So if you've got an article and you say I haven't shared it on Facebook, then it cannot become part of the archive and it cannot become, I can't tell people about it. Please mail it to us and we can do something about it. You also see there on the right hand corner, we're doing a mid-month series that's um, on the sign-up website, but it's also going on Facebook, social media, and uh, the social media of Twitter and Instagram. This is Talia Henry. So Saturday is Saturday student. If you want to be one of the Saturday students, contact me. Go and look at the other Saturday students and send the information to me. So if I go to Twitter, I don't have to say anything about Twitter. If you haven't got a handle, I think Kalisa will tell you later, you have to have a handle. You have to have a social media presence. Um, it's not like earlier. These days you've got to be visible. This is the place to be visible. 
This is a tool and a skill that is used by all international arenas. Um, you can see we've got now, I think we've got now actually 1,148 since last night. So a few of you have not following us. If you're not following us, do start following us. Here you will learn about opportunities, um, grants, fellowships, uh, when there's um, conferences going on. And if you see we don't carry it, let us know about it. Then we can share it to you. So on Instagram, I see as the fun part of social media. You will see there in the middle, there's the mid-month series that we're carrying. There's international days like conservation days. Um, if you go and look at the 21 days, that was the 21 days of lockdown. Um, I did a series out of the archive for every day of the lockdown. Um, SCAR 2020, and now we will all also have, obviously, APEX 2020 on there. So, this is your platform. If you don't tell us, we can't tell the world about you. And we've got really followers in the international arena, and NRF is following us, NRF SASTA is following us, Environment ZETA is following us, DEF, and the Minister of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries are following us. So if you want to make yourself heard in the national arena, tell us about it and follow us. So the last thing is the YouTube channel. Why I put us there, there is also a lot of videos of us, but those of you that weren't able to attend SCAR 2020, go to YouTube. There's a lot of material there available for you to catch up on. Okay, now the sign up website. Um, I don't think I'll run out of time, but we'll try. So go and look at it. Um, but the one that you can specifically look at is Explore. It's the research. There you will see the current research project. And if you look at the research project that you are involved in with your PI and you think it's not, there's not enough information, write your PI and give the information to us so that we can update it. I've just highlighted this because you heard today collaboration, 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 location, location is lacquer. Um, all these things, we've got to work together. And the SANAP website is especially a thing of working together. Science and Innovation and Environment, Forestry and Fisheries came to Elsa, contact me, would we run the SANAP website? And I do think we can say it's since we've started running it with first the previous design and now a much modern design, we are reaching the success that we envisioned when we started it. So do collaborate, do network. That's how we can get to it. So this is just, as Elisa said, I want to introduce you to Antarctic Youth Coalition. This is a, actually a talk on its own. But some of you probably, if you followed us, would know right at the left-hand corner at the top, is Ruti Salima. She was chosen as the champion for Cape Town to go on the Antarctic City Youth Expedition at the beginning of this year. They formed the Youth Coalition. Go to their website. Um, the Antarctic Youth Coalition is a free membership based organization. Um, their mission is a network of young custodians across the five Antarctic gateway cities and countries I would like to see it. Um, the focus is activating and empowering an Arctic youth for a sustainable future. It's all the things that you probably are interested in. That's why you are studying and that's why your career is currently where it is. And then the Antarctic Youth Coalition aspires to build from the cultural heritage of South Africa, of our cities, and moving forward and put it to a global effort. So please go and look at the Antarctic Youth Coalition and do contact the Antarctic Legacy or specifically the Youth Coalition. So this is my message to you. Get involved. You can see this technology, this data management, this writing of articles. Um, tell us what is currently going on in your life within SANA. Then we can tell the world about it. We can write the articles. Send us your material so that we can make you part of the Legacy of South Africa. So um, last I say, you must normally not worry to say thanks and you would rather use your time. So I think I will just take a minute and say, thank you very much, Lisa, for you and your committee of organizing this. I think it's great and it make it possible for a lot more people to attend it. And I'm glad to be part of it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ria. Very insightful. And thank you to everything you do to support the early career researchers and the scientists that are established it really makes a huge difference to have our work outside of only journals. And um, yeah, the public needs to hear it. And uh, yeah, it's been, just been a huge work that you guys have done since 
um, also has come into being. So thank you very much for that.